Hello and welcome to Cyber Resilience Fundamentals. My name is Phil Zongo. I am the CEO of the Cyber Leadership Institute and also the best-selling author of the Five Anchors of Cyber Resilience, uh, a framework or a book upon which we have built this program. I wanted to explain what motivated me to write the Five Anchors of Cyber Resilience and its implications to my career path. So back in 2014, 2015, I decided to shift gears and transition from technology risk, where I had spent, I think, just over a decade and move into cybersecurity. I felt by that time that in technology risk, I was a jake of all trades, but master of none. And at the same time, my exposure as a technology risk manager, writing board reports and presenting to executive teams made it very clear that cybersecurity had zoomed to the top of almost every enterprise risk profile. And I needed to position myself for the future. But when I transitioned from technology risk into cybersecurity, that process wasn't all that easy. I downloaded, I think, dozens, if not hundreds of white papers and bought so many books on cybersecurity because I wanted to accelerate my learning and close the gap between me and my peers. But I was frustrated because 95% of all the books and the white papers that I downloaded were deeply rooted in technology and not business. And uh, in my experience as a technology risk manager, I clearly understood that, you know, one's ability to link technology risk and strategy to the broader business goals was the most critical part to bring critical or key decision makers on board and create that shared sense of purpose across the business. So I decided to turn my proverbial lemons into lemonade. I spent the next 18 months writing my first book. I wanted to accelerate my learnings, but I also wanted to create a framework upon which you know, the broader business and senior stakeholders could link cybersecurity risk and strategy back to the broader business value chain. I obviously went through a lot of discouraging moments and I felt like quitting. But, you know, my why was very strong. I wanted to build that framework that was going to simplify cybersecurity and position it as a strategic business enabler, not just a compliance initiative. So I published my book, The Five Anchors, back in 2018, June of 2018, and that opened a range of possibilities. My book last year in 2021 was voted one of the top five best cybersecurity books across the UK among several owners and uh, accolades from industry associations and journalists. It also opened a lot of opportunities for me to accelerate myself to the top of my game. You know, I started speaking at conferences. I landed multiple virtual CISO gigs over the last five years. And I now travel ab abroad to run executive masterclasses and speak at large cybersecurity conferences. So what are those five anchors of cyber resilience? I just wanted to give you a snapshot. Number one, and maybe the most important, like I said, I strongly believe that you know one of my mantras is effectiveness requires extreme focus so obviously no business or cybersecurity team has got an unlimited cybersecurity budget to maximize your effectiveness you must center your cybersecurity or cybersecurity strategy around your most important digital assets which we call the crown jewels and these are the systems that underpin your competitive advantage your strategic objectives and most importantly the the, the products that your customers value the most the second anchor is around cybersecurity awareness and culture 90 95% of all data breaches emanate from poorly trained cybersecurity or uh, workforces 
And it's become very clear for me that for us to achieve cyber resilience, we must build cybersecurity culture into the bloodstream of the enterprise and create the deeply entrenched belief systems that protecting our enterprises from the mainness of cybercrime is everyone's responsibility from the board of directors to frontline staff. The third anchor relates to third parties or vendors. Obviously, uh, for businesses to grow, they must engage with third parties that can help them lower their cost of operations or drive innovation. And unfortunately, the dozens of third parties, some of them located in different geographies, expose, expands the cybersecurity attack surface. And this anchor helps you create a differentiated cybersecurity assurance model around your third parties. So again, you can focus your cyber, your limited cybersecurity budget around third parties or suppliers that represent the highest risk to your business. The fourth anchor relates to cybersecurity governance. It's well documented that the success of any major transformation program hinges on one thing, the unwavering support of the most senior business officers and the board of directors. So this fourth anchor helps you build agile and highly adaptive cybersecurity governance frameworks that can quickly adapt to changing external and internal circumstances, creating a strong, a strong tone at the top and building cybersecurity governance into embedding it into your operational and strategic decision making processes. Then the five anchor relates to, you know, how can we securely embrace digital transformation and innovation and position cybersecurity as a strategic business initiative and not a necessary evil. So with the five anchor, we talk about how can we build cybersecurity into game changing digital transformation trends like cloud computing, internet of things, because once we build security early, into the system development life cycle. We lower the cost of security. We improve customer experience instead of thinking about security later and trying to retrofit it into products that are already in live production. So these are the five anchors of cyber resilience. I am a strong believer that once you understand how cybersecurity links back to the broader business goals and the strategic risk, and you are able to articulate that in the language of the business, which is money, you will be able to accelerate your cybersecurity leadership career in the same way that I did and run away from competition. So welcome to the Cyber Resilience Fundamentals. I hope you will enjoy the ride and uh, looking forward to working with you throughout your cyber leadership journeys. Thank you. Bye.